Hello and welcome to Chandu.org. In this video, we are going to look at another powerful advanced pivot table technique. Normally, when we make a pivot table, we usually make it from one set of data. But Excel offers a powerful technique through which you can make a single pivot table by synthesizing data that is in multiple tables. So I call this two tables, one pivot, but it could be 10 tables and one pivot or five tables and three pivots. It doesn't matter. The approach is like this. Let's take a look at some sample data here. We have some fictional call center data. So we have um, every day we would receive calls. This is the data for 2019. And um, we would get a call from, let's say, customer 179. They spoke for 161 seconds. Uh, they were talking about uh, some product that they purchased, which is of the value $130. And they spoke to representative 006. And this call happened on 22nd of September 2019. Now, if you want to know more about the customer, like what is the customer's gender or how, what is their educational qualification or anything, you will not get that information. So if you want to compare, let's say, male versus female customer calls or, um, you know, any of those kind of demographic analysis, we are not able to do that because that information is missing. But there is fortunately another table that kind of provides those clues. So I could go here, I could find out where customer 179 is uh, and then see that uh, this is a male customer, 35 years old, and they have undergraduation uh, level of education qualification. So I could then ask the question like how many male customers have called us in the month of September or how many calls came from the age group 30 to 35 uh, like that. Likewise, the representative 006, we don't know which department that person works in or who they report to, but you can go to representative table and there that information is mentioned, uh, six works in sales and they report to Gina. Now, uh, because the data is in separate places, we cannot really make a single pivot table. Uh, but worry not, you can use a relationship feature of Excel to connect all these tables and kind of create a network of relationships and then use that to make a pivot table. So the way we would do that is we would go and home insert pivot table. Uh, you can also first set up the relationships and then do it, but uh, it's uh, same in any which way you go. Um, and then you will say you want to make a pivot table from this data. Now it is called table two. This is actually not a good way to approach. You want to give your data proper names. So I'll cancel this step. I'll quickly name the table. So this one we will call this as calls. You can just select any cell in the table, go to table design. Um, let me just make sure that uh, this is customers and that is rip. Sorry, I didn't click there. And that is rip. So we now have three tables. One is calls, one is customers, and one is reps. Let's go ahead and uh, insert a pivot table uh, from any of these. And it will say you want to make a pivot from table calls. This is good in the new worksheet. The most important thing that you need to remember when you want to use data from multiple tables is you must select that option, which is add this data to the data model. When you do that, you will get a standard insert pivot table screen, but here you will see calls table. That is the active table. If you go to all, you will now see all the tables. Now Excel thinks there is no connection between these tables, so that's why it is showing a line between them saying that you know these three are three separate things but you can go ahead and set up the relationships now um, you can kind of uh, do it and excel will auto detect things for us but it's best to take control at this point so you can go to data and click on that uh, relationships button it looks like a network diagram with one table pointing to other tables and from here you can say new relationship calls customer id is mapped to customers customer field okay likewise calls representative is mapped to reps rep column 
Now, because the column names are different, Excel is not able to auto detect these things. But normally, uh, you know, if the column names are same, then you can go ahead and make the pivot table and Excel will try to map things on its own. So now there is no separation line. This indicates that these are all together as a one big family. Okay, let's go ahead and see the comparison of calls between male versus female customers. So we can just put gender here and then uh, take call and uh, we can count one of the things to see how many calls came in like customer ID, for example. That's how many calls we got because each row is a single call. And, uh, and, in, and you can also add other things like what is the total purchase amount uh, or how much was the talk time in, in seconds. So $640,000 of cost purchase amount and 551,000 seconds of talk time. So this is how you can take the data. And this is the gender. You can also divide the calls by department, for example, uh, and then see each gender, how many calls are we getting into sales and service departments. They seem to be evenly split and, um, and, uh, and you can kind of get that sense. Uh, we could also add a new pivot table here. We can just go and select a blank cell. So now, what we have here is we have kind of by creating those relationships you have essentially created a data model so when you select a blank cell and then say insert pivot table excel will default to use this workbooks data model option that means it is going to just consume those three tables to make the pivot table for us this is an excellent way once you have set up the pivot table you don't you no longer need to select the data uh, once you have the data model, you just go and select blank cells where you want pivot table and it will give you that option. And uh, here you can then, uh, for example, look at individual rep by rep, how many um, calls they are taking. Uh, and you could see that, you know, almost all of them taste, tend to take around 700 calls, uh, but uh, representative seven has only 336 calls. Um, what is the corresponding amount? and uh, in those details. So this is how you can make one pivot from two or multiple tables for that matter. There is a continuation video for this where we'll look at another advanced technique for analyzing uh, data in, in multiple places. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you again in the next video. Please remember to subscribe and also check out the video description to download sample file uh, for this uh, example. Thanks. Bye-bye.